Uh, so yeah, George. Uh, yesterday I accidentally, okay, uh, I accidentally wrote like the the most new re- new metal riff ever. Like. Ooh, the guitar away when filming. You yeah. there at home, do you like books? Like actual books that are good. Well then, go away. Piss off, we don't want you here. Like, <laughs> we're not reading those. We're not reading good so, books. So now, we will. We, many times we have been reading George's shit books, and now we're gonna read my slightly better books. Slightly better, because Helios, I'd say, from yeah. the moment he was born, has always been slightly smarter than me. Because, um, when uh, when I was born, uh, I like counted to one, but George he didn't. Couldn't was... couldn't even. I thought five was the last George, number. George couldn't. Genuinely, even... for years and years, mm. people would be like, count to ten, and I'd be like, no, there's no more. There are only five numbers. Skyens. Skyens is usually really boring. So basically, yeah, um, we were in lizard class. But... I was not. No, he wasn't. He the... was in lizard class. For some reason, we were in types of lizards, despite um. <laughs> George they, being in a... I was in Salamander. Which is an amphibian. And me being in the famous type of lizard. Lizard! lizard. <laughs> they didn't tell us what the three types of subjects were back then. And then in year four, they told us it was... Um, chemistry, chemistry, biology, bio- and... Uh, the other physi- one. Physics. Yeah, physics. But they didn't tell us that back then, so I had to make my own guesses. Chemistry, where a guy got turned into an octopus. <laughs> <laughs> um, observing, where you're in a telescope. <laughs> and... Analyzing was just some guy putting something on a on a tray or something on a conveyor belt. Don't think any brought any maths on. I'm seeing one of you all I recognize here. Oh my god, I don't like this. Seeing all these like people. You can't even see the fronts of them, can you? This Look. they're just showing this guy's back. <laughs> that then is shadow. <laughs> Look, Sam. How to show us? Is that to show a shadow? Yeah, I think. Yeah, wait. As if we didn't know what sh- fucking shadows were. Friends. Friends. Wait, Dear friends. Last day to watch on Netflix. Twenty second of June. What the fuck is this? I don't even know. Helios, you're not showing me. Oh, there we go. <laughs> push. Is that his name? Yeah. Here is Push. My good friend Push. What? Did, where are you? There. Where? No, that's not me. That's that's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's Sophia. A girl. That's Sophia. That's an iron going. In. My favorite book character, Star Wars. Okay, yeah. I remember when an author would enter our school and they would like, they would visit and Talk I would then books. become- Obsessed with it. So obsessed with that book. Like, are these guys- Oh, we had to dissect um, the, dissect a flower a and, uh, and label its sexual organs, which I don't think flowers have. These guys who wrote a book called The Nothing to See Here Hotel. Oh God, yeah. And then you wrote And a, then I was so You did obsessed a YouTube with video it. review about it. I was it, like, though. oh my God, you, that is still up on my channel. You guys can go watch The Nothing we'll, we'll to See the, Here Hotel. We'll put the link in the description. <laughs> link in description, guys. The link in description below. Yeah, like, it's, it's me going like, oh, I actually quite like this video. <laughs> I don't know this book. I don't know this book is it's my favorite book. It's a five-star book. book. I think oh, I please. wanted to be a review channel. That's what I wanted to be. Like yeah, but like only f- reviews of things you like. So yeah. Like... No. Like... <laughs> oh, what's this? Help. Yeah, the problem with mine isn't really the writing. There's nothing like really wrong with that. It's the drawing. It's the so art. Just... Yeah. Okay, I mean, that we... was just science. So... Should we go to another book? Yep. I've got so many. Look, George. Oh dear God. They didn't let us call it English because for some was... reason because they called it. We, we couldn't know. They called it writing, and then they called it literacy, and then they called it writing again, and now they call it English. Look, an Adam know that. Sandler film is in. Ugh. Is called Yuck. Inspiring. Yuck! It's Adam Sandler. The and class then, uh, library is the I equivalent know... of like the <laughs> YouTube music stock library, <laughs> where it's just all like weird. But then I did that. And then the problem was, you know Sammy, right? Remember yeah, Sammy? Yeah, I do. Um, he also forgot to bring in a book, so we did the same one. When Michael strolled along the beach, he peered into the pea green bushes. Because they really wanted us to like use those interesting adjectives. Pea green. Pea green leaves. I ate a pea green pea. Oh, this was about this was about Kenzuki's kingdom. Remember that? I do remember that. Yeah. I, all I remember was Daniel fell asleep while we were while we were reading it. But... This was deep into the creative process of the Sorcerer's Mirror. Oh God, yeah. Have we have we told them about the Sorcerer's Mirror? Story time. Sorcerer's Mirror. It was this 
terrible. Sorcerer's Mirror was a musical. That was bad. That was a prequel. I gave of myself the acclaimed fairy tale, The Snow Queen. It was kind of like it was kind of like imagine like British Hamilton, but oh. it. You can where... I tell you about Hamilton for a minute? No, this is sake. this is like basically. I don't like Hamilton because it's basically middle class, upper class um, fascism. Mm, it know. is. No, it's totally for I the don't upper think class. So. I don't think so. Yeah, but it is. But it's good. Yeah, I don't know. But it's good. I'd be okay if it was like good, but it. But, but it's, it's good. Uh, okay, we can cut all this out. Anyway, Spider Head! <laughs> <laughs> in which a spider finds his head. We were really determined to make Michael this. could no longer feel his warm blood. I swear to God, Hannah, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> it says here, Michael could no longer feel his warm blood. So, The Sorcerer's Mirror was a musical we tried to make. Um, but we And it was a shitty prequel to the acclaimed fairy tale, The Snow Queen, and we thought it was amazing. And I remember a few bits from it. One, we tried to write a song called Ten Tap Dancing Monkeys, which we would do every day, but the lyrics changed every time. That one was actually... That was pretty good. I like, didn't like the song, but I liked it was funny. That was... It was funny, because we would just do random things. But there was also... But it was trying to be really heartfelt in some no, ways. No, Like this moment where my Mine. house was burning down, and when I shouted... No! No! What was it like? The mirror! The fire! Yeah. Oh, like, God, my yeah. mirror! No. My, my original script, it was like... Sort of like, I don't know. I remember like you complaining it was too dark or something originally. It was I like, remember saying it wasn't dark at it all. Wasn't it wasn't dark at all. Like, we were in year four. Um, but it was like mine was like sort of making just a joke, and then George. And was then like, you George was like, "It's too dark. I'll write it." And then you just made it. My mirror. Where, where art thou, mine mirror? Yeah, I always tried to make it, and then but like, and I also remember getting really pissed off at you because you wrote two pages and then nothing ever again. <laughs> no, I wrote five. Yeah. In independent work time. I really wrote this. My three favorite planets are Neptune. We also, you aren't involved with this, but I tried to make a boxing reality show mm -hmm. called like Little Punch or something where little kids would come and box teachers. Made it with a guy called Raffi. Raffi, if you're watching, you go to my school. <laughs> Sorry, you'll say you'll throw sponges at someone, then punch <laughs> like, them. Look, let's enact, let's, let me enact what I'm gonna okay, do. Okay, right, okay. Yo, George, I'm gonna Hi. throw a sponge at you, yeah? Cool, I, ah! <laughs> and then we got in trouble mm -hmm. because we quite graphically told the teacher of the idea because it was like, you had to punch teachers. Why would you tell the school? Yeah, we want to do a series where we go and punch teachers. <laughs> Just do it. If you want to punch teachers, just you say you're throwing sponges at them. Swoon worthy, what that mean? I that is worthy of a swoon! I think it's funny how, like, some of them say, like, LGBTQ, etc. Like that, like, as one of the things about like, it. Like, what, that... Bo Burnham, what? No, no, like, no, not that, but, like, they say that about, like, at the bottom bit. Yeah. But they didn't about the one that was just there. Gay! Ago, which is, like, you know, where every character is, like... Yeah, because... Except, like, that Because, like, the show where they have, like, one gay character and they're, like... This is an LGBT plus show, and then the one where every character is literally gay. Like, I don't know, pretty offensive. It's pretty just swoon worthy, I think. That's all it is. It's just it's, fucking swoon worthy. It's crap. Don't say that. With our production company, I Buried Poor Productions, which makes some of your favorite shows like Utter Class and. <laughs> <laughs> the can cook in the kitchen. It does make that, yeah. It does it? Yes. Do you, am I got, have I got credit? You've got credit, you get credit part of that. Wow! <laughs> so our production company, Iberry Pool Productions, which makes some of your favorite shows. We were gonna make some great feature length films, uh, which included some franchises like Apollo 116 and um, that other one that we nearly made, Weak Man. <laughs> and oh, with an iron in. Oh, and you had the through the painting one. Through the painting, which was shit. And now we make Utter Class, the best show on the universe. Anyway, next book. Sammy wrote this for me. I think I could Helios could improve his work by putting a bit more. Yeah, I remember this. We had a supply teacher who had no idea what the fuck she was doing. So she marked my work, only marked the first three lines, and she gave me a tick on the word on the phrase "Do you." Like, the standards of do you do want... you well done well it was do well you... done Helios not many people have the bravery to say do you anymore it was then I said the immense beauty will keep uh, keep you excited um, but she added uh, after beauty emotive <laughs> he's a bastard isn't he yeah what did he do 
He's just a weird fucking method actor and he does bad things. Hey, that's not cool. Don't be mean about people who do meth, George. No, method actor. I don't know what that is. Method. Like, he stays, yeah. not meth head, method. <laughs> he stays in character, like, Isn't off camera. meth short for method? Methadone. Yeah. It's methadone, isn't it? I don't, I don't know. Susie go to the shop. That's, that's stated. stated. Uh, Susie. Susie, Susie had a little too much apple juice. That stated that she's an alcoholic. No, it, infer, you. It, inf you in it implies that. It doesn't really, but apparently we have to say it does. Oh, look, another blank page. I can use prepositional phrases. No, I fucking can't. I can't even spell it. I just wrote prepositional phases. I remember for some reason I was just like randomly her enemy in year four because I wanted to have an enemy, but she, she didn't do anything. No, you were the one-sided enemy. You were just sitting across the room like, hmm. <laughs> She knows what she did. No, don't read this one. I'll find you a good uh, one. Oh, no, 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 wait, no, no, wait, wait, wait. Trust I me. will find me a good okay, one. Okay, yeah. Find one's an actual story. Hey, yeah. look, it's the Snow Queen. That thing that George this likes. This is the day we started our great music. And then I just showed... Uh, the only reason I did it was because I wanted to hang out with Ed. And he was <laughs> too busy hanging out with you. I know. That's the only then reason we've we were friends. Friends. We were friends before. My past is being diminished. What the way? Peace my feet. The dad is going to stop. I will murder you. I will murder you. I had to live through a year of that. That was an entire year of Yeah, but like, you were friends with like, Sissy and stuff. So. That is true. Do you remember school weddings? Like, do you remember that? How many did you have? Because I wasn't lame, I had one so, in year and two. I wasn't in your class, and I wasn't lame, so I didn't you do You were in my class in year two. Yeah, but I didn't do it. Yeah, but no, I had one in year two, and then there was a very funny one in year five. But that was just funnier, and it got us into drama. Because in year five, Todd and Theo were, were getting married. Oh, yeah. And that was great, and there was some homophobic people there, and I was the priest, and I was like marrying them. So, and I don't think they ever got divorced, but I'm not like legally a priest, so, yeah. and also they're children, so I don't know if we can like. Also, like, uh, I, I thought priests didn't approve gay marriage. Yeah, but some priests are built different. Like cool priests, cool priests <laughs> coming like to Judas. HBO soon. Cool priests, <laughs> cool priests. Like Judas Priest. Get me another book. Still got my old black saddle <laughs> crap. You want to see something weird? Look at that. Compare. Look. And look at me. <laughs> okay, that's your six. <gasps> year six. Read your six. Okay, we'll look okay. at this one after. I remember the feathers. Now we're back in the same class, you know. We're back. Yeah, we're, we're back to loving friends. <laughs> in case there's any homophobes watching, we'll just hit each other until. <laughs> Dare to. <laughs> How dare you be different? Yeah. <laughs> Can you dare to be different with your clothes? No. No, because we invented school uniform. <laughs> school uniform is so fucking An investigate. Dumb. I love Let how me... they put a contents page for the people who are reading this. Like, and they're not. They're not even page numbers. So like, what's the point? <laughs> Newspaper report. Philip Petit. Philip. Philip Petit. I remember Philip. Google Petit. Doodle. Mm. Should we see the Google Doodle? No, no, no. Get back to that. Get to that in a minute. Mine was basically just like um. An anarcho-communist I just came up with. Google Doodle. Yeah, I'm, get to it in a bit. Just keep reading, keep it's reading. It's actually quite a nice book. Like, I feel like they put effort in. They made. No, you mean I put effort in. You put they. effort in. No, the, yeah, the teachers made this book. I they feel were. like you put effort in. Like, do yeah. pockets to scribble. That looks good. Help me. For what it is. This is another Doctor Who book I did. Help me. I mean, Girls I don't know. with four pockets, boys with four pockets. The boys one is smaller, and I don't think that's the point. How does that work? Can you get like trousers that are marketed as girls' trousers or what? I guess like, so, but like, can, it's like, I feel like it's just trousers. Yeah, you can like, I don't think that's how trousers work. It's like, it's more of like you bought trousers that have less pockets, sort of. You know what I mean? Yeah. The Brighton Chronicle, twenty seventy. Helios boys. That means written by me. A few days ago, a ninety-two-year-old. At Old American tourist alarmed the city of Brighton and Hove. He shocked the world by performing an incredible stunt. Full stop. The man, comma, who's crossed out, who has been found in the police database, is named Jeffrey Davis, age 92. <laughs> Davis was able to climb the I-360 with a backpack full of rocks and bricks. If this wasn't impressive enough, he then jumped off onto a trampoline, which we have been told is safe. Which we have been told is safe. <laughs> <laughs> Which strikes me as he was like the 
in the story he was like to the bridge Trust me, don't safe. worry it's safe it was discovered that Davis ran through the streets of Brighton at 6am until he made it to the I360 what? which was <laughs> naked why did he do that? Just run through the street. I'm him. going to that, do this thing now. Don't say I'm not. No, I think my idea was um, that he was like gathering stamina to run up the O360. Like, you know, no, not stamina, but like yeah, yeah. doing a run up. Like he was running around to get enough momentum to just jump, like run straight up the side. This was not the thrill seeker's first attempt at danger. Last year, Davis tried and failed to climb the, the Grand Hotel. He finally earned his lifelong dream of becoming the most daring man in the UK. Despite being an American tourist. Before being taken to court, Davis <laughs> celebrated his first victory in 50 years. How is he the most daring man in the UK <laughs> if he hasn't done anything well in 50 years? <laughs> what could he drive? I got scared. <laughs> oh, he's about to climb the Grand Hotel. He's like, oh, oh no, but it's too tall for me. It is reported that they set up a trampoline for the daring jumper after they covered the I360 in glue, so it was very stiff. <laughs> cover the ivory sexy in glow. Then <laughs> by did? Sam, then by Sam he was ready. Then by Sun he was ready. A picture! There's Jeffrey Davis! Jeffrey Davis! Jeffrey! Jeffrey Day! Oh my thinking book! Look, it's a What are you doing in the rest of school? It's a book um remembering the days when he beat up a comic. Yuri Gagarin was the man in space. I think I meant to say the first man in space. <laughs> Eats moths, beetles. No, no, no one's seeing this. No one is seeing this. This is you get uh, a little, you get a you little get flash. A sneak preview. Hey, George just said flash. Okay, that's enough. Okay, that. so um, it's called. We'll read it. To the you. apple stealing bully. I'm the apple stealing bully. I completely ripped would this you, joke off goosebumps. Would you say that you're? Would you say that this is your best acting work? Yes. <laughs> As the apple stealing bully. <laughs> <laughs> One day at school, and Aaron's just walking, eating himself. You're pretty ugly. Ha ha ha. No, you're, read it. You're pretty. Pretty <laughs> ugly. <laughs> we almost had a romance there, but then it turned into a sick burn. And, and then, then I pointed at him and he's still eating his apple. And then, and then I threw the apple at him. And then uh, Natalie. Oh yeah, I love this because they were always, because uh, uh, the parts were always only dairy girls. The parts were always only ever going to be, there was always going to be like two characters, but there were like four people in a group. Yeah. So two of them had to play background <laughs> actors. No, look, they have lines. She says, really? And she, she said, wait. Helios so said to the Two you're... points. Who's, who's el who else is saying that? <laughs> the door is also <laughs> participating. <laughs> Who did you do this one with? Helios said to Aniron, you're pretty, pretty ugly. Time, Time out. out. She, she looked really happy and I looked depressed. I looked really pissed off and... <laughs> you're just made to sit on the floor <laughs> while all the people you bully. Also, do you even steal There's... the apple? Yeah, sort of. Is that the apple? I think so. <laughs> Can no, they not even supply a <laughs> real apple for the comic entitled The Apple Stealing Bully? My, my apple. apple! My house! The apple! My house. The fire! No, you were the mirror. The mirror. And oh, yeah. Like, the mirror! And you had like. The fire! You had loads of distortion in your voice, like a thrash metal vocalist. The mirror! The fire! No, no, not low. It's just like. The mirror. The. F no, it's. Like, the mirror. No, it's my house. The mirror. No, this is what it was. My house. The mirror! Mirror! <laughs> I'd you say, were the the creative mastermind behind the apple stealing. Well, bully. I mean, I wrote that, and I wrote that. I really slash... like the um the font. Yeah, <laughs> his name is Old and Bony. Go to the toilet, George. Okay. It's time to do a monologue on myself. Okay, sorry. Do you want purple lights on or off? I don't care. All right, just get lost. <laughs> sorry, sir. Sorry. I feel you in this layer. Sideway. I'll see you all on the the end. So uh, I'll just leave you with this uh, nice story. You can read as much of that if, as possible. I don't know how much of it will be possible for you to read. Your monologue done. No, get lost. I'm what doing have you been doing to the camera? I'm doing my monologue. Okay, fine. Sorry, sir. My monologue.